Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my 2022 bullet journal setup. For the beginning of this year, I decided to go with a sunshine notebook from Archer and Olive. It is a lot brighter in person than I thought it would be, but I still think it's really beautiful. For the theme for my beginning setup, I decided to go with koi fish. I wanted something that kind of reminded me a little bit of the cover of this notebook, but I didn't really want to go with like a whole sky theme, so I decided to go with some of these koi fish because they kind of reminded me a little bit of summer and, you know, summer, sunshine, so I don't know. <laughs> it made sense in my head. So I decided to do two koi fish kind of swimming next to each other and then sort of a background with this beautiful sun and moon, almost like starburst type drawing behind the fish. So the design for these fish actually came from Pinterest, which most of my designs do. I just kind of find inspiration from there and then kind of take little bits and pieces from several different drawings or photographs and I will make my own. So when I was planning this page, I actually sketched it out on sort of like my scrap journal and I ended up liking my sketch so much that I decided to cut it out. So now I'm just going to glue this page onto my nameplate and write 2022 and my two words of the year which are courage and perseverance, which is what the koi fish actually stands for. So now we're at my future log and this is one of my most used spreads in all of my bullet journal. I reference it constantly, especially at the beginning of every month because I actually do write down birthdays and events and anything that I might need to remember, I will write that in this spot. I do put all 12 months into my future log because I like to look back at this and use it for planning out my next bullet journal and if there's any kind of appointments like a doctor's appointment or a dentist appointment or something like that that I need to put in there, I like to have all 12 months in my notebook. So as I was drawing these fish, they actually kind of reminded me a little bit less of koi fish than betta fish. When I looked up on Pinterest, this is what popped up every time I looked up koi fish. All these beautiful, long flowing fins. But when you look at real koi fish, the ones that I saw online didn't really look like that. These fish actually look a little bit more like betta fish. <laughs> 
<laughs> which, you know, we had a bunch of those growing up, but I'm calling them koi fish because that's what I want to call them. <laughs> So this page here is my goals page and my action plan page. So on the left hand side, I'm going to write in the goals that I have for the year and I've kind of separated them by business, health, and personal. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to have the action steps that I'm going to take to actually achieve those goals. And now we're moving on to my meals spread. And this is where I just write in all of my family's favorite meals and their favorite sides. And then I've actually got a category that I just started for my favorites because I eat different foods than they do. And since usually I'm just more concerned with making sure the family gets fed, <laughs> I always forget what my favorite things are. And I usually just kind of scrounge around for food for me. So I decided to create a category for my favorite foods. And now we've reached probably my favorite spread. This is my savings tracker. And I decided to do it kind of like a mood tracker, very similar to what I did in my reading journal with my book tracker. So what I've done is I have drawn out this very large koi fish. And for every specific dollar amount, I'm not sure what that dollar amount is yet, but for every specific dollar amount, I'm going to color in one of the spots on the koi fish. And then if I reach that, then I'm gonna color in those stars or I guess maybe they're more like sparkles, but <laughs> but I'm gonna color in one of the stars if I save up enough to have colored in all of the spots on the fish. I'm hoping that this sort of mood tracker like savings chart will actually really help me to want to save a little bit more. Saving is really hard, <laughs> but being able to color something in like this, I think it'll be really fun.
So if you guys have watched my videos before, you will know that shading is probably my, one of my least favorite things to do when it comes to drawing. I feel like I'm so terrible at it. I just, I don't know. I'm not very good at shading. I do think it looks okay on some of these fish, but I wish that I was a little bit better at it than I am. <laughs> This is the last page in the setup, and this is my master to do and my brainstorm page. And it's basically where I'm just gonna write down random stuff that I need to get done that doesn't have a specific day or timeline or anything like that. And then I'm also going to use the brainstorm page literally just as that. It's kind of like a note page for the entire notebook that maybe I don't wanna write it in a specific month because I don't wanna lose it, so I'm just write it in the beginning of the book. So with this fish here, it actually started to look a little bit plain on the body of the fish. So I decided to add in some little dots, kind of like shading, but kind of like scales almost without actually drawing scales. And I actually think it turned out really cute. So now we are at my grid spacing bookmark, and if you've seen my last two videos, you've seen I've done one for the other two notebooks that I set up this year. But if you haven't seen my other two videos, this is what I'm calling a grid spacing bookmark, and it is basically just a grid spacing guide like you would do in the beginning of your journal, but it's a bookmark instead where you can take it out and actually set it next to you and use it every time you set up a new month or a new spread. And one side of it is for the vertical dots, and the other side is for the horizontal dots. So far, I have used it to set up all three of the journals that I've done this month, and it has been so handy. You just take it out and line it up, and it works beautifully. I really, really like it. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!